The justice is the sins are accounted for, they are dealt with, but there's no justice in Islam because if you, so if, let's say Hitler was a Muslim now. Bob, can we answer let, that? Let, can let, we no, 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 so let's Islam. say Hitler was a Muslim, he wasn't Bob, right? Muslim. Let's say Hitler was a Muslim, he wasn't yeah, a Christian answer, either, yeah, Bob, but he did ally with Bob, Muslims, hold on, hold on, Bob, right? Just one so, so, whoa, 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 Your beliefs are mirroring our beliefs. Our beliefs historically came first and Muslims are borrowing what Christians said about the Incarnation to explain how a material book can be called the Quran but not be the Kalam al -Allah. So if Allah gives speech that you then recite and your recitation is created but Allah's speech is uncreated, then the words, because they are identical, are mirror images of one another. And that means that Allah's attribute of speech is identical to your speech. And that means that Allah is like something in his creation which contradicts the Quran. I don't, uh, I'm not following that. Right. So my, my point to you is the problem with Islamic concepts of revelation is that it basically breaks the barrier that you set up. So you set up a barrier on one hand that says Allah doesn't enter into his creation. And then in the next breath, you break that very rule by saying an attribute of Allah has entered into creation. As in the Quran, right? As in the word of Allah. Yeah. The word of Allah. Notice I said word, not Quran, right? And it doesn't matter how you try to explain it. The reality is that something created and something uncreated, the word, have met in the created world, I see, I see. right? So your barrier that you established at the beginning has now been broken. And that's problematic. Whereas our concept of revelation is that God, God's spirit, because we believe God can enter into his creation, God's spirit enlivens the intellect of the human being to write down his words and his truth. So from what I understand you're saying is that uh, you believe that God can be, come into creation. And God so can and does come into creation, the yeah. Because is an attribute of God, yeah. and it entered into creation, you're saying he can enter into creation. I, I am pointing out that Muslims have a contradiction within their Akida. As in the entrance into creation? Yes. I think from my understanding, the problem where we have entrance into the creation is not that the attribute of God enter, it's that, that he can't come down as a physical human right. into but creation. Right, but is the essence of Allah, but, but the attributes of Allah possess the essence of Allah. Yeah. Which means that if an attribute enters into creation, the essence has also entered into creation as well. Okay. And that's the problem. I mean, is that a problem though? It is a problem if you're saying that it's not worthy of Allah to enter into his creation. Well, enter into creation as in come in as a human being. But, but coming down, uh, bringing down a, let's, for example, we have a hadith of, of the Prophet, peace be upon him, that uh, God created multiple types of merciness. Yeah. And he brought down one to the earth that this way humans can be merciful to each other. Have you heard of that? Yes. So as we can see here, an attribute of God can enter into creation and affect creation. Right. But, so, it's, but our problem is that it doesn't befit his royalty to enter into creation as a human being. Right. But it so, doesn't make so, sense. So let, let, let's just come to that because when we say that God enters into his creation and becomes a human being, right? What we're not saying is that God changes into a human being. Are you aware of that? Um, so he doesn't become a human being. He does not change into a human being, which it sounds like is what you're saying. So is he existing up there while also existing as a human being? No, what he does is he takes a human nature and he fills it with his divine personhood. But he's still up there at the same time? God is still everywhere. See, that, that does not make sense to me. Well, but this is the point, is that it clearly does make sense to you, but you have a rule in your mind that says that nothing that a Christian says about this can make sense. No, because, 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 be a human because being. right, but God can become a book. God's attribute can become a book. He doesn't become a book. You see, attributes wait, wait, one second, like one love second. and anger and mercy. Let, let's like try him. to think through this logically. But when he becomes a human, his being... Why so many cameras on me, bro? <laughs> There's so many Christian speakers that need a camera. I've got four cameras on me. So like, here's my issue just to paint it out, is that the issue with God coming down as a human being, it's as though he's coming down as a full, as, as his full nature. He takes, when yes, it, he does. When he comes yeah. down, when he brings down the Quran, 
he's just bringing down an attribute. Which there's has a, his essence. There's a difference between an attribute of God and a, and a, a full being of God. What's, what's your name, bro? Uh, Abdullah. Abdullah, just think about logically what you're saying. If the attribute of Allah possesses the essence of Allah, and the attribute enters into creation, then Allah has entered into creation. Not Furthermore, fully. right? Is, is God is, him. is God divisible? I think the problem that is God divisible. <laughs> uh, obviously not. That's so not if the trinity. if the essence of Allah enters with an attribute of Allah into creation, is that whole or part of the essence that has entered into creation? Attributes such as mercy. Example That's not that my question. Uh, well, I'm going to answer your question that way. No. Is, oh, okay. I want the answer to this question. When the attribute of Allah's kalam enters into creation, yeah. it possesses the essence of Allah. Does it possess that essence wholly and completely or partially? I, the way that you're making it seem like I'm not fully following. Do you want to repeat it one last time? Everyone can understand this, I promise you. So my, let me, let is it, is it a slice of a cake let me, let me try to or is it the, the whole thing that has entered in creation? See, the issue is that for, for you, is what you're making it seem like is when you give off love, like let's say you like, or are you married? If you're, let's say you have a girlfriend and you love her, right? Yeah. When you send love towards her, you're not dividing yourself. You're giving off an attribute of yourself. So you can't say that anger and love and things, when you give off those things, they're not coming out of you as a, a division of you. So that's how we believe in, in, in Allah, yep. God, is that His attributes can come down, but we can't come down as His whole being. Yeah. Because an attribute is not, it's not a divisible part the, the, of God. The problem, just, the problem with your, like the problem, the, the, the problem with your analogy is that me loving a girlfriend, you know, if God was to bless me to have one, me loving to, you know, well, me, uh, you yeah, married, as, as God wills. Getting married is better. Yeah, I, I, I'm in. I'm in, totally. Not, but, not but, but my point to you is that uh, it, as the as the essence, the, the problem is that you've created this radical division in which you've said God, it's unworthy of God to enter into his creation. If God's essence enters into creation vi with an attribute, then God has entered into creation. Now you said it's unworthy of God to take to himself a humanity because humans sleep, they go to the toilet. But the point is, the recitation, and they're, and they're one second, created. one second, the recite, one second, one second, the recitation is dependent on creation. The recitation can be corrupted. The Quran can be used as toilet paper. In Saudi Arabia, in Saudi Arabia, in Saudi use, Arabia, in Saudi Arabia, in Saudi Arabia, there are thousands of Qurans flushed down the toilet you're every single me. year. Well, you gotta listen. The equivalent of, your, of what you're telling me is that love can be flushed into the toilet. No, it can't. No. So can't the attribute no. of God. No, mercy, no, God's you've missed the point the entirely. Can't be flushed down no, the and what you've These missed, and what, and what you've missed is that we Christians don't say that the divinity defecates. We Christians don't say that the divinity sleeps. We Christians don't say that the divinity dies. So you say that Jesus what, is an attribute of What? No, we're not saying that either. So so our religions are totally different, bro. And I mean, for me, yeah, but I'm, no, one second, a, one second, one second, oh, one second, one second, bro. If this as conversation, a, if this conversation is going to work, it needs to be that I can speak without you interrupting me and you can speak without you interrupting me. Well, we're having a discussion. Right, but, but, but the thing is, if, well right, if, but the thing is if, if every time I try to speak and give an answer, you interrupt, then I just start doing that to you, the whole conversation breaks down, and then the whole thing becomes, rather than a polite conversation that's nice, it becomes an impolite conversation that gets awkward. So let's it's, avoid it's that. I forget the point let's that avoid you that. Say, like the translation, so I forgot the thing I was is, the, ask thing you a is the, the thing is, you should listen then to what I'm saying. So what I actually said was, the divinity does not change into a humanity. The humanity is created, and the humanity operates in creation. Okay, and it is not confused with the divinity, it is not mingled with the divinity, it is not changed by the divinity, and it is not changing the divinity. So when we say Christ goes to the toilet, we're talking about a human body, a humanity that goes to the toilet, that has the person of God in that flesh. 
It is the human that sleeps, the human that goes to the toilet, the human that dies, the humanity. Yeah? So it's not, not two persons. It's not two persons. It's not God in that moment. No, he's it's the person, the right? There's only one divine person. So the one divine person fills both the humanity and the divine nature. Let me give you an analogy to help you. Maybe a picture will help you. Okay, but can I ask you? Yeah, you can because I don't think you're listening. Well, uh, go on, what's your question? Listen, I'm trying my best to, yeah, yeah. to understand. Like, it, what, what, what's, go on, I, I what's see that you're getting a little bit angry, but like, it's yeah, just I'm, that it's just that I'm, I'm saying trying, something, and then you you just you just move on to the and. and but I'm not. I on. haven't even asked okay. my question. Go on. I'm, listen, I'm trying my best to be sincere and understand what yeah. you're saying. I'm genuinely interested on how you guys like sure. create your belief about this, because for me, looking out, it doesn't make sense. So now I'm here today to try to understand. Okay. And to see, okay. Is there a point of view that can make sense? Yeah. So my question is. When he's like using the toilet in that moment, is he God? Right. So when he's using the toilet, is he God? Yes. But is it the divine that is going to the toilet? No. Okay. So let me and use the analogy. Let me use the analogy. If I take a Quran, right? And I flush it down the toilet like thousands of Qurans in Saudi Arabia get flushed down Sorry, the toilet every year. I have to keep t telling right. you that it's not the physical Quran. You see, you're not listening, are you? I'm, I'm, I'm literally answering your question. But you keep using the same But the point is, I'm trying to answer. You talk about being sincere. I'm trying to answer your question. And when I try to answer your question, you interrupt. So let me answer your question. Okay? So it's like the Quran. Like there are thousands of Qurans that get flushed down the toilet every single year in Saudi Arabia. You would not say, because you do not believe, that the material book or the ink on the paper is the speech, the word of Allah. You think that the paper is created and the ink is created and what is flushed down the toilet is created paper and created ink. Okay? In exactly the same way, in exactly the same way, we believe that when Christ goes to the toilet, what sits on the toilet is created, what enters the toilet is created, and what is flushed away is created. What is not needing to go to the toilet, what is not being defecated, what is not being flushed away is any divinity. Now, okay. let me just push this out so I you fully I'm understand it. To it a bit, Good. Let me let me let me let me finish my point. I'm landing. Like, let me finish my point. I'm landing. Let me finish my point. I'm landing. Because if I took the Quran out in my bag and I started ripping up the Arabic pages of it, you would get angry and upset because even though you don't believe the ink or the paper are the actual kalam al Allah, you do believe that in some sense this is divine. Why? Because, in some sense, it has... No, Muslims all the time get upset when people destroy the Qur'an. Well, I'll tell you why. Are you saying that you don't get upset if someone defecates on a Qur'an, well, or stands I mean, on a Qur'an, or spits do, on a Qur'an? I don't believe that why? the Qur'an is divine. What? Well, no, 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 I never said it did. I never These said are, you did. They're mutually exclusive. You never said you did. You, you just did. You said that... I you said in some sense. I never said it was. That book is in no way divine. So why do so so explain to me why you get upset if someone desecrates a Quran? Because you gotta understand the Quran. When you have the Quran, obviously you can recite from it. Yeah. Right? And is that recitation so, created? Um, I think from what I've heard from some scholars, it, it most likely is it, it, like I've heard two different views, but I, I need to get more knowledge about that. But I think that it's probably uncreated when you recite it. But the words are created. The sounds are created. I'll your hearing is created. Yeah, the chemicals in your brain <laughs> that translate a sound into a word, yeah. they're all created. Mm -hmm. So everything about this process is a created thing. But the actual like recitation, the, the, like, the recitation itself, like you, you know how it's not the Quran, it's not the physical book, yeah. but the recitation, I think that's what's uncreated when you say this. But at the same time, your recitation is created. Right. But the, but the point is, there is no recitation without creation. 
yeah, fact. Because humans can't recycle. Exactly. Chrome. But does, that doesn't mean the chrome won't exist. Right, and, and this is my point: is what you're doing there is you're saying that in some way something that is created sits alongside something that is uncreated and even though I can do things and you're imposing that on Christ's body let, let me finish on, on his, I, I, I let me finish point, let me finish but and even though we can do something to the created thing it in no way affects the divine thing and I'm saying in the same way when Christ takes to himself the humanity without confusing mingling changing either the divine or the human natures something can happen to the created humanity of Christ that does not affect the divinity of Christ. Do you understand it now? Yeah. Thank you. So, so now perhaps we can advance the conversation. Yeah, so now can I reply to that? Yeah, go on. So I think that you do have a point, uh, notwithstanding that I find it very stretched. So I understand what you mean. You're saying is basically that uh, when Christ uses the restroom, that this is part of the created, but the uncreated rests within the other parts, like as an attribute of God, the way that you kind of made the analogy of the Quran. So I understand that. But the issue I have is that a, a human being is a being. And his words are an attribute of that human. The same way the Quran, God is a being, and his words are an attribute of him. So, but when it's in a different human being, then you can't apply that same analogy. Does that make sense? So, like when you're talking to me, the words that are coming out of your mouth to me are an attribution of you. They're, not, they're an attribute of you. So that's in the same way that the the words of the Quran are an attribute of God, his speech. So you can't impose that where you have two different human beings and say that these two, this one can be an attribute of this one through some, uh, through, albeit through some divine intervention. But because, because when you have a human being, we take it as that, that is a being in itself. But I don't see how this, any of this, no, well, no, not really, because I don't see, unless you're trying to suggest that as a Christian, I believe in two beings in Christ. So is that what you think I believe? Um, that I believe that there are two beings in Christ, a human being and a divine being. Yeah. Right. But uh, and, and so like, do you, do, you, do, you, do you believe that I believe in two persons, like a divine person and a human person in Jesus? Like, is that what you think? Do you believe in the Trinity? To begin with? Yeah, we believe in the Trinity, of so, course. Yeah, Every believe Christian believes in the Trinity. Is, do you believe this one is divine, this one's divine? So what's that got? Your analogy has got no connection to anything yet that I've said. I don't understand okay, me, the connection. So try again. So... The way that, that the speech, so God, when he, his, the Quran is his speech. And so the speech is an attribute of God, the same way that when you speak to me, yep. your speech is an attribute of you yep. as a human being. Yep. The same cannot be said of different human beings, different beings. Well, so I'm sorry, the, the, the connection between one and the other, I don't understand. What are you trying to say? Are you, because what I've pointed out to you is that what happens to a material nature and what happens to a divine nature don't affect one another in your religion and in my religion. I don't agree with that. Well, you, well I mean... the Quran is the speech of God. Do you so, understand that your speech is, is an attribute of you? Yes. But in no way is it possible for there to be another human being that's an attribute of you. But we're not... Even if you so, so hold on one second. We're not saying that the humanity is, as it were, an attribute of the person. What we're saying is that the person fully dwells so, in the humanity. So, so in that sense, when you say that Christ is not an attribute of God, it does not mirror... Well, what do you, what do you mean by Christ there? Uh, like Jesus as in God? Yeah, the person or yeah, the nature? The person, the person. The person. So, There's only one person. So what I'm telling yeah. you And is he that, fills. So allow me to use an analogy to explain so, it, so what I'm saying though, here. It does not mirror it's a, it's the way a, the it's, it's, it's a shame that we've moved off the original topic can because I, it would have been I it would have been a nice can conversation. I, can I just... No, no, no. Do let you, me let me just do you agree? let me let me just do go, you go agree on. It doesn't the mirror the Quran. No, I disagree wrong. I completely disagree with you because So do you say it does what, or it doesn't? What I'm saying to you is that you're trying to create a double standard. But can I just ask No, no. Do you think it mirrors the Quran? What I'm trying to say Can I just get an answer to that? I am going to answer that question. Well, can you just say I'm yes going no? to answer that question. Just so I understand I'm how going, you're I'm going to them. answer that question. You're creating a double standard in which you're saying that we have a rule in our religion that works for us, but you can't have that same rule that works for you. And what I'm saying to you, and what I'm saying to you, and what I'm saying, because it has got nothing to do with what I said. Yes, it does. It's, it's, how, it's how it's applicable to God. How, how, no, how is it applicable to what I said? 
I understand what you said. So what did you, I say? You're, from what I understand, you're trying to mirror the way that the Quran works. No, hold on one second. It goes into creation. Let, let, and it's part of the uh, uh, creation of our recitation. Let, let's let's just let's just be clear about something. But these have these two mirrors have nothing to do. Can with Can we just other. get Can we just get our history correct? Can I? Can, can I, we just get our history correct? Because Christians believe this long before Muslims came up with their doctrines. It before. isn't. It isn't that we're mirroring Islam. It's that Islam is mirroring Christianity. We sense? Christians had this belief before Islam yeah, in, ever in Judaism, existed. For example, the coming down of the Holy Scripture. No, we had this belief about the incarnation centuries before Muhammad. It isn't that we're mirroring you. Your beliefs are mirroring our beliefs. Our beliefs historically came first and Muslims are borrowing what Christians said about the incarnation to explain how a material book can be called the Quran but not be the Kalam al -Allah. So mirroring the Bible? Like the scripture coming No, what mirroring exactly Jesus Christ. In what way? Because in Christianity we believe Jesus Christ is the word of Allah. We believe that Jesus Christ is the word of God. Well, it says in the Gospel of John. He's a being, he's not a speech. No, no, no. Words are different. No, no, no. Again, you're, you're, you're assuming that what is true in your religion has to be true in our religion. And I'm saying no, it's I'm a using different logic religion. I'm telling you that two different people. Your okay? logic is flawed. Let me, let me just tell you Go something. On. Two different people. Are, Which people is, are you talking about? Let me, this, this, is, this is just its own hypothetical situation. Okay. Two different people are yeah. different from a person with speech. So what has when that you, got to do with what I said? Can I just finish? Yeah. When you speak in the production of speech, it is an attribute of you. Do you agree? Yes. Your speech is not separate from you. The same way, the same way, the speech of God in the Quran is not different from Him Himself, because it's a, it's His production of speech. It's His attribute that way. Same way as we humans, when we talk, our talking is an attribute of us. Yeah. What you're trying to do is you're taking that and somehow trying to make it similar to two different beings: a human being and God. Yeah. These cannot work. So, so that they has, can't be the same thing. So that has the same not, way that so, speech has to so do with So my question, human my question to you, when you talked so about that's two, my problem. So when you said two uh, human beings, as a hypothetical story. Right, but what that has got nothing to do with what I said. Because for me, God and a human, they, the, the attribute connection cannot be made. But, but you still have not addressed what I've said. Can you repeat? So firstly, I want to, in your analogy that you said is purely hypothetical. Obviously you had it, you was giving this as some kind of criticism of what I said. So in what way are these two human beings connected to what I said in so your hypothetical situation? The, the two human beings would be as an example, two beings, let's not say human beings. One being is God and one being is a human. And you're saying these two can be the same as in an attributable way, the same way the right. Quran, the production of are, speech are of you, God. Are you using the word person and human being in your argument interchangeably? Uh, uh, being, like just as God is a being. My question is, firstly, if you don't understand the term, I'm happy to explain it. But are you saying, in your analogy, are you using the words human being and personhood interchangeably? I'm trying to use being. I, uh, yeah, I, I'm but, not, I, but I need human. to clarify. Are you saying that every human being has a personhood and therefore personhood and human being are interchangeable? Uh, yeah, in, in right. a way, a human being is okay. a being. Is so let, let me clarify something because like this they is. They have a will. Just so like let, me, God let, has me, a will. let me let me clarify something. Let me clarify Does that make something. Sense, yes, it makes sense. Let me clarify something to you. Because what, what, I, what I'm trying to point out to you is that when we Christians talk about Christ having two natures, we only see one person in that Christ with the two natures. I understand. Right? It's like a coin. You know, if I've got a gold coin. It has two faces. When you look at one face, it doesn't look like the other face. When you flip it around and you look at the other face, it doesn't look like the first face. But the, the coin, the gold, goes from one face to the other face and fills both completely. When it comes to the incarnation, it's the person of Christ is like the gold. It fills both faces. But the, fa the human face and the divine face never touch except in the person, right? So what happens, so if I scratch one face, I do scratch the gold, but what I don't scratch is the other face. The other face is totally untouched. Okay, I understand. Right? So, so now, bear with me here, okay? So a being has a will, yeah. right? So the difference, I'm gonna, uh, for the sake of comparison, because you brought it up first, 
I think, I think though, you're just, trying to... Just, no, just, you, let, just let me finish. But you're not finish. sticking to okay, the... Okay, let me uh, finish, on, and then on, you, can, yeah. you can criticize it and return... Yeah. If, if I'm diverting, I'm not, I'm not trying to... I feel you, you're moving on to a different part of no, the it's argument. Not. Yeah. No, it's the same thing. So, a being has a will, right? For us, God has a will. Yeah. And when, it is, and when you say human being, yeah. it automatically has a will. Yes. Okay? Yes. So now you have two wills. Correct. In the Quran, in, in the example of Quran and God, yep. speech cannot have a will. It's not possible. Yep. Your speech is a production of you. It's not a will. Right. So that's why speech can be an attribute of God, and, they, yep. and they're the same. Like right. They, they, you, can't, you can't divide them. So but the, here, when you have a human being and you have God, and yep. they both have a will, yep. this, is, this is divisible. So, they so, can't so, be the so, same thing. So, so firstly... Can so, I just hold say, on. does that make sense to you? So I, I, under, I understand what, I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying, so I'm going to address it completely. So I'm going me, to address it. I'm going to. So I'm going to. I'm, ga- I'm going to address it completely. So firstly, right, the going back to the analogy of the coin, right, the human nature. The coin doesn't make sense. No, it does. It's two look, look, wills. Look, look, you can't you, have a will into one uh, coin. You see, if you just interrupt me again, Sorry, right, then I'll just start interrupting you, and then you'll say, "But let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish." Go so ahead. let me finish. Yeah. Don't don't insist that you can finish, but then don't let me finish. Yeah. Doesn't work like that, right? So, in the terms of in terms of the analogy, we Christians assert that Christ has two wills: a human will and a divine will. Going back to the analogy of the coin, because remember, what we're talking about is the fact that you can affect one nature, but it doesn't affect the other nature. That's actually what we're talking about. And so, if using the analogy of the coin, remembering that the gold of the coin represents the personhood of Christ, and the two faces represent the natures of Christ, his divine and his human nature, if I get a sharp knife and I scratch one side of that coin, so I totally mutilate the image, right? Both the gold, i.e. the person, and one face, i.e. one nature, has been affected by the scratching but if you flip the coin over the gold that is the one person and the one face that is the divine nature is unscratched untarnished and looks perfect okay so my analogy does stand up what's the problem is that you haven't engaged with the analogy you've just it's all right what's happened is you've totally ignored the analogy but here's where your double standard appears because I said to you that you have exactly the same concept in your religion but you said you said you said you said no we don't no we don't it's different because if I take a Quran and I stand on it or I spit in it or I flush it down the toilet you would be angry that I've desecrated a book and you'd be right to because that's rude and it's wrong but but you wouldn't say that I have been able to damage the divine word of Allah. So you're trying to create a double standard where you say that it is impossible for the divine and the human natures to sit together, that one happens to one nature but not the other in Christianity. You're saying that's impossible, but you're saying it can happen in Islam. And I simply reject your double standard. If you can have that rule in Islam, we can have that rule in Christianity. And to the point, to the point, you were not copying Muslims. Christians had this belief centuries before Muslims. Muslims borrowed our understanding of the incarnation to talk about their Quran. So the issue is the reason I'm not I'm not addressing the coin because it does not make sense. Explain to, why it doesn't make sense. No, 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 no. You didn't. You interrupted. Am, oh, but notice you're protesting. It. I'm I told you you'd protest if I interrupted you. But I didn't interrupt you. Just but you finished. did interrupt me. I said I understand. I had to insist upon you not interrupting. Okay, okay. Do you see how being interrupted is annoying? Well, obviously. Does that mean you won't interrupt me going that forward? Do, right. So will, when I speak next time, will no, you not I'm interrupt not, me? I'll, I won't interrupt. Right. So here's here's the end of my interruption. Right. Saying that my analogy does not make sense is not saying my analogy does not make sense is not the same as a refutation. Give a refutation of the analogy. Go on. Okay, so I understand we both, we can't interrupt each other, I understand, I'll try my best. So, yeah, I mean like, so when I said the coin doesn't make sense, I was going to go and explain it, but you kind of interrupted me. Oh, oh, is that wrong? (laughs) (laughs) If you don't interrupt me, I won't interrupt you. Okay, so... 
the reason is because I, I find it very, um, what's the word? Like, I find it with, within myself, I can already object to the fact that you can't fuse two wills into a coin. A coin has nothing to do when, when, you, when you look at it in wills. Now, first, I want to address, I want to address your point that the uh, that our concept of the Quran is similar to your concept, which is completely false. And I've already explained this to you multiple times, but you seem to miss the point. I gave you a logical example of human beings, okay? When a human being produ produces speech, that speech does not have a will. It's an attribute of that human being. Does that make sense? To be honest, okay. I'm, I'm listening. Starting, I'm starting to forget now. But, uh, but when, when a human being produces speech, that speech is, is, is an attribute of that human being. Do you agree with me? Yes. Now, when you have two things that have wills, those things, my argument is, cannot be fused together. And so you have to show me how you can have two beings that each one has its own will can be fused together in a coin like the example that you gave me. Now that, that's up to you to show me. For me, the Quran, it's a production of speech. So when you produce speech, it's an attribute of yourself and it's not a will or a being. That's why it has nothing to do, to, nothing to do with the Christian concept where you have two beings that you're trying to fuse together. Does that make sense? It does make sense. So now I give it I don't to agree you with it. it. So so firstly, firstly. You don't have to agree with it. It's my like, so, opinion. So of, firstly, of how if, it. It if, the, if the human person fully fills a human nature, okay. right, then that means it possesses a human will. Yes. If it fully possesses a divine nature, it also possesses a divine will. Yeah. The unity can't be in the natures. And it isn't, and we don't claim that it is. What about the wills? The wills are in the, 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 the wills are not, the wills are not united in the natures, it, because that would entail the contradiction you're talking about. So we're not saying that the wills are united in the nature, okay. right? So. We're saying that they are united in the person. Going back to my analogy, which does make sense, you're simply saying it doesn't, doesn't prove it. The gold represents the person. The gold goes fully to the first face and goes fully to the second face. Each of those natures is, is fully possessed of the person. So it has a human will, that Christ has a human will and he has a divine will. But you said that the Quran does not have a will. But you're, let, let me finish, you're, you're interrupting. Remember what we said, what we agreed? <coughs> So, your own hadiths state, right, listen, bear with me, on, on the day of resurrection, your, according to your hadith, testify for you on the day of the judgment. it says this about yeah, your Quran, Abdullah ibn Amir reported the messenger of Allah, <laughs> peace and blessings be upon him, said that um, on the day of resurrection, yeah, the Quran will say, O oh Lord, I prevented him from sleeping during the night, so let me intercede for him. So the Quran is speaking to Allah and interceding to Allah on behalf of the believer. So the Quran is interceding, it has a will, and it is speaking back to Allah. That is what your hadith okay, but, say. But don't move on to another point. Let me answer that hadith. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't get to control the conversation. But I, I you remember. Can't, you can't move on no, hold on. Conversation. It is on film that we started talking about spirituality and about motives. Yeah, but now and, I said, and, I said, hadith, I and I said, and I said, and I said, and I said, it's a shame you're wanting to move the conversation on from this topic. So you don't get to control the conversation. It is a free flowing conversation. Yeah, Go on. So reply to this. Yeah. yeah. So I, I just want to get it clear. It's okay, like, because you're also moving from point to point. So we're just having a. That's fine. Discussion. So you can't tell me not it, to move on. Well, it's because I just want to have the opportunity to respond to the hadith. Is that yeah. not fair? Go on. So if you want to say no, and then we can end the conversation. No, 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 no. Was... I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You don't get to dictate the conversation. I don't want to dictate. I just want so to have great. a normal. So great. Then let's discussion. do that. But I, I, I asked you to let me respond to the hadith. That's yeah, basically go what on. I was trying to do. Go on. So basically, you have to understand what the hadith means. 
it's not that the Quran itself will testify. Do you know what will testify? Your recitation of the Quran. The fact, how, did, how does the Quran keep you up from sleeping? It's because you, you stayed up and recited the Quran. So what will actually yep. testify for you is the action of you reciting the Quran and doing good deeds instead of sleeping. Okay, can so I reply to that? your recitation testifies for you. Can I it's reply not, to it's that? It's not the physical book comes on the day of day. It doesn't have its own will. Can I your reply to own, that? Your own, uh, yeah, you can, but can I just... Yeah, yeah, you point? land your point. And notice so, I'm letting you land your point. Well, and I told you you can respond. I didn't say I'm going to move on to another topic and Go not on. let you respond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your recitation of the Quran is what will uh, testify for you. It has nothing to do with, with let's say, uh, you can't understand it in the way of like the physical book will come on the day of judgment and say, oh, I like, I like, what's your name? Bob. Nice to meet you, Bob. Nice to meet you, Bob. Uh, so it, it, it can't come on the day of judgment and say, I like this guy, Bob, and I want him to uh, go into heaven. That's not, that's not what it means. What it means is that Bob, as a Muslim, he stayed up in the night and recited the Quran. Because of his actions, his actions testify for him. Okay. That's, what, that's what it means. Can I reply and to that? And that's what we understand and that's what the majority of, of, of scholars say. Can, can I reply to that? And we say this hadith right. all the time. Now I'm going to reply yeah, to that. Go ahead. Right? The, the, pro, the first problem with your argument <laughs> is that is not what the text says at all. Right? That's the first problem with your argument. Do not interrupt me. The, the first problem with your argument is that is exactly not what the text says. Exactly what the texts say is that the Quran will intercede for you. It does not say the action of reciting will intercede for you. It says the Quran. So that's the first problem. The second problem is if what you're saying is true, then that means that Muslims or Muhammad himself has labeled an action, a human action, as a divine attribute. He has called a human action, a divine attribute. Why? Because the text says the Quran will intercede for you. you no, do not interrupt. No, just repeat do, what you I, I literally repeated it twice, but I will repeat it a third time. The, the second problem is that if your argument is true, then Muhammad has committed shirk because he has given the divine attribute, its name, to a created action, if your argument is true, which is shown. Secondly, thirdly, the other problem is that it also introduces another shirk. Because if the action of recitation, right? If the action of recitation uh, of the Quran, right? It means that you are reciting the Quran, but all of these things are created then you have something that is created that is like something that is uncreated. Because, why? Because Allah's speech is uncreated and Allah is not like anything that he has created, including all of his attributes, but your recitation is created and your recitation is a, 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 an exact facsimile of the divine speech. Which means that you have something that is uncreated looking exactly like something that is created, i.e. I can say recite the words of the Quran and that means I am reciting the words of Allah. So my created speech is a, an exact representation of Allah's uncreated speech. Yeah. So, so your first problem is that is exactly not what the text says. You said exactly something that the text did not say. Your second problem is that if that is true, then the name of something created has been given the name of something uncreated. And the third problem is that something that is created is exactly the same as something that is uncreated. The, your speech and uh, uncreated speech. So uh, if I miss a point, can you just uh, tell me? Those are the three it? points, yeah. Because uh, I tend to forget a lot, so... Yeah. And also you said a lot, so uh, I need to like stay in touch, but... Okay. So, um, let me just try to remember. Okay, so here's something that i forgotten about. One of the scholars said that when you recite God's speech, the Quran, your 
recitation is not the attribute of God. Your recitation is the repeat of the speech. So let's say, for example, you said something and I repeat what you said. What I repeated is not you saying that exactly. So it's not your attribute. It's my repeat, it, repeating that attribute. So now it becomes my production of speech. Does that make sense? Yep, yes. And so how we view it in the Quran, uh, in the context of the Islamic discourse, is that when you repeat the words of God, it's a good deed. You're doing it, you get a good deed for repeating it. Yep. And so what that hadith means is that you're repeating of the words of God and applying it in your life and staying up at night and reading the Quran, that will come to testify for you on the Day of Judgment. You're viewing it in a literal sense of like, oh no, the Quran itself will come and vouch for people and things like that. But you're missing a core part of the Hadith. And if we go back to it in the text, I'll explain it to you exactly in the specifics of it, is that it even says that it's because it kept him up from sleeping. Now, how did, you have to ask, how did it keep him up from sleeping? Did, it, did the Quran itself come down as a book and talk to the guy as a, like, you know, how Jesus come down, comes down? No, it's, yeah. the, it's the person willingly chose to recite the Quran, repeat the words of God to get the good deeds and and that prevented him from sleeping. So i.e. his actions are the ones that resulted in that vouch or uh, in that testification that he should be saved from the hellfire. So his, again, his actions are, is what is witnessing for him on the day of judgment, not the actual Quran coming down as a person. You get it? So that that's that's in relation to the hadith itself. What was your second point? So so the, the, let me let me just come back on that point. So the, the point is, firstly, it what's identified is the Quran. It doesn't say the action. <coughs> doesn't say the action. It's, you get it from the, uh, when it says that let, it kept him up from sleeping? Yeah, let's let's just look at some hadiths, right? Can I, can I take a look the, at the, it? The, the second point, the second point is, the second point is that if what you're saying is true, then something that is created is being called by something uncreated, can the you, Quran. One more time? Something, something created is being called by the name of something uncreated. So a created thing i.e. the oh, action of mean, recitation. You mean the action is being called It is being called the Quran. Okay, I, I And the Quran that. is uncreated. Yeah. Right? So is it shirk <coughs> to call something created by the names of the uncreated? One more time, the last question. Is it shirk to call something created by the names of something uncreated? So as in calling the action the Quran? Yes. See, you're misunderstanding it and thinking that the Quran itself is the action. <laughs> the Quran itself, the, produ the production of speech. That's not the question. What's the question. Your argument is that something created is the one interceding back to Allah. Yeah, his actions. Right? That's what you're saying. Yeah. Is it right to call something created by the names of the uncreated? But the thing is, the action itself is not being called the Quran. It is literally being called the Quran. Yeah, I'll show you. It's literally being called the Quran. That's why I recall the Hadith. Let's, let, 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 like, I'm literally, <laughs> I don't even know why you're arguing the point. I literally read it to you. You heard it say, it says, read the Quran, right? So you, right, you're reading the Quran for Second. it will come on the day of resurrection interceding for its companions, right? Yeah, 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 now, okay. the point is, you're being told to read the Quran. Right? Because it, the thing that you're reading... Wait, 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 one more time. Let me one finish. More. Can you go back? You're back? interrupting me. How are you saying? You're interrupting yeah. me. Unfortunately, we get these hecklers. You've just best to ignore them. What, right? did, what did he say? They, they, they just interrupt. It's just a thing that they do. So, in terms of, in terms of this Quran, it says, look, right? It says in Sahih al-Muslim 804, okay. narrated by Ubu okay, Umam al Okay, can you please just let me say Said, said... I heard the Messenger of Allah say, read the Quran, for it what is will it? come. This is it my point. Is reading the Quran. Right, listen. And it's this not is, the Quran itself. Is it right to call something created by the names of the uncreated? Okay, can, you, can I respond? I'll I'm, answer, I'm, answer, I'm asking you that ask question. Ask me the question as soon as I make just one 10 second point. Read the Quran, for it, it is reading the Quran, not the Quran you, now itself. Now answer the question you that I actually asked. Do you understand? No, no, now answer the question I actually what? asked. You see, you're not even listening, bro. You said, you said, I'll if say it again. Is created, can you call I'll it uncreated? Say it. I know your question. So the Quran, but it make sense so of it. so the thing, the thing that the that thing is, is reading the Quran. Yes, yes, and it's been called the Quran. Read because the Quran. The Quran, it, it the, Quran, is the, Quran. the Quran. Listen, 
fasting <laughs> and the Quran will intercede for right. a person on yeah. the day of resurrection. Are you going to say fasting? Are is you now being... going to answer my question? Yeah, I will answer. But you got to give me. You gotta so let me answer respond. my question. Okay, let, can I respond now? Do you know what my question is? Yes. Repeat my question you back said, to me. Do you, uh, is, can you call a created being uncreated? Is answer that, that question. Okay, but before I answer it, I have to establish the context of which you're trying to ask that question. Because it's very deceiving, by the way. Fasting and the Quran will intercede for you on the day of judgment. What you're, uh, let me finish. No, you have interrupted me you consistently. To, you don't you get to, to let insist on letting me finish. No, you don't get to do that when so you are interrupt you gonna, me. Are you going to let me respond? But you interrupt me. Okay, but I would like to no, respond. No, but so you interrupt me. So you can't say that. So, well, I'm asking for but your But you to interrupt if you, me. If you don't want to give me a, So what, what I'm I, saying, what can, though, so li listen to my argument again. because No, no, no. Listen to my argument again because you haven't heard it. Yes, you can respond when I've restarted stated the argument because your argument is your argument is and this is the difference between listening and responding is that you're saying that the action the action is what intercedes for you right so taking that position my question to you is is it right to call a created thing by the names of the uncreated that's, That's not the what question. The did, and, and yes, you, 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 it literally, it literally does it right here. Yeah, are you gonna, fasting and the you, Quran will intercede for a person. I'm just, I have to ask, will you let me respond? Yeah, go on. Can I respond. Get like at least thirty seconds. Yeah, but I, I, you interrupt me, bro, and you know, like I'm when still, I, I still need to work on that. Yeah, you do I'm need to work to on that. I'm, you you do need to work on that. But go on. Perhaps in the future, if we talk, yeah, go on. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, go on. Um, so. It's, it, it seems mind-boggling that you're, you're like, fasting and the Quran. Do you think fasting is, is like, do you think it's a will, like it's some kind of being? That's not the that, question. Uh, let me finish right here, okay. So, it, like, literally when the Hadith says fasting and the Quran, it's literally clear what it means by that. Fasting is an action and the Quran, i.e. your recitation of it. That's still that's not the what, question. That's what, that's what, what do you mean that's not? Okay. You've still not answered my question. Your question is, can you call a created thing uncreated? So you do know my the question. To your question is, no, you can't do that. But Thank that you. is not what the prophet is doing. And right. That is the point. So now the let me read. The prophet is not calling the action uncreated. He's, when no, he, I didn't say that. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. You said when he said, I did not Quran, say. You're saying he's calling the Quran will come as a as the action, and that's uncreated. That's no, what you're implying. No, what I'm. That's not no, true. no, no, no. What you stated just fasting then is not what I stated. Fasting on the Quran, as in fasting, you fasting on on Ramadan, and just, Quran, as in you reciting the Quran, will testify for you. Do as in your you, so you don't believe you can call something created by the uncreated? Yeah, like I can't call you. Sorry. Yeah, it's all right. I can't call you an uncreated being. Obviously, you're a human being. You're no, 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 no. I didn't say that. You see, you subtly changed my question. No, no, no. You, you're subtly changing my question. And you, so that means that you don't want to engage with my question because you're changing my question. Well, that's how, that's what, what I said was, can you call something that is created the names of the uncreated? Like, the, the Quran is not a name of, of uncreated. Right. Do you understand that? Okay, like, when you, so when let's I look say, at this. When I say the word Quran, let's look is at it this. uncreated? Let's look word? at this. That doesn't make any sense. So let's look at this, right? So, <laughs> but yeah, uh, no, but, you can't so do that, by the way. You can't do that. Yeah. You can't do you, that. Not, not the name. Not you can't say something is uncreated when it's created. Is the Quran the speech of Allah? Yeah, the speech itself is uncreated, not the word Quran. So the 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 speech of Allah is uncreated. Yes. And what do you call the speech of Allah? We call it the, the book. We call it the Quran. You call the speech of Allah the Quran. So you've got a, a, a name for yes. the speech of Allah. So if I call this the Quran, I can say the Quran is created. Right? So, so no, no, hold on. Are you following but my logic? You to the now notice you're interrupting. Notice you're interrupting. But, uh, you know, when I reply yep. to you, you're getting your answer. Okay. So, so the, the point is, right, now let me speak without <laughs> you interrupting. Let's see if you can do better like you said you wanted to. I will right? try my best. You try your best, please. Yeah. Because uh, you get these urges. You, you, you try so your I best. Can to a you, 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 you try your best, okay? Because you protest every time I interrupt you. So well, I'll try to the be more speech, patient with me. Like the it. speech of Allah, the speech of Allah, you call the Quran. The speech yes. of Allah is uncreated. That right. means the speech of Allah, which is uncreated, has a name. 
the Quran. But, the name but you're appear. saying, but you're but saying that when Muhammad said fasting in the Quran will intercede for you, you're saying that the Quran that is referred to here is the created action. But the created action has a name. According to Muhammad, he's calling it the Quran. But that is the name of the uncreated divine speech. And you said that you couldn't do that because it was shirk. Yeah, you can. Thank you. However, no, no, I didn't say that. You've changed what I said again. What I've said before. So you can use the names of divine speech for creative things. Okay. Yeah. And is it? If he does that, if he does that, right? And is it? It doesn't. It doesn't. When we say the, then we can say that his reference to the Quran is clear. There is no shirk there. It's the same thing that he's saying. What the prophet meant by the Quran. You don't you don't think that's shirk? No, okay. Okay. I, 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 oh, one second. Okay. No, 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 no. No, I think I do get what you're saying, but I don't think you're fully engaging with what I'm saying. But let's move on to the third point. Let's move on. I do understand your argument, but I don't think your argument properly addressed what I said. I think you ignored what I said. Well, people can make their own mind up. So let's move on to the third point. The third point is that it says, and bearing in mind I'm engaging with your response to my initial argument, right? The third point is that it says fasting in the Quran will intercede for you. Now, dealing with your argument that when it says the Quran, it's not talking about the divine speech, it's talking about your recitation, yeah. right? So I have engaged with what you have said. The problem with your argument is that now what you're saying is something that is created, it is like one of the attributes that is uncreated. Why? Because your speech, when you recite the Quran, right, so long as obviously you're reciting it perfectly, People will say that is the speech of Allah. That's who has been asked about it. They say no. Which it itself is not. But, but the point is, the point is, it, it does it. Is it not the words of Allah? Ask yourself why I'm saying those people are calling it prophet. And I repeat it again. Yes. What you said is not is is it's my saying is not a production. Okay, I'll prove my point with a living example. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'll prove my point. It's the same thing with the crowd. I'll prove my point with a living example. Okay. Repeat exactly what I say back to me. Your jumper is green. Okay. Repeat it back. Uh, what, my jumper is green? No, I didn't say that. Your jumper is green? You're struggling with this. Your jumper is green. Right. So my words and your words are exact reflections of one another, are they not? Yeah, but it's not. Right. It's not. So if my you, if you, but if you, so my point that you've got to listen to the point I'm making, you have just demonstrated on camera that our speech is an exact mirror image. Let's do it again. Your jumper is green. Okay. Repeat and, back. And, and no, no, I repeat say, back. Repeat yeah, back. Your jumper is green. Right. When I say so, that. so, but the point is, our you're, two speeches, even though yours is an attribute yeah, of you. No, let point. me. No, no, you're interrupting always. <coughs> right. But you complain when I interrupt you. It's the same that I have to keep teaching in this lesson. It's okay. We're interrupting each other. That's fine. And it's good humoured, so I don't really mind it. But my point is, you've just demonstrated that our language is an exact mirror reflection. So if you're saying that when... No, 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 I'm going to finish. 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 No, I am going to finish. So the Quran, if you're saying that when it refers to the Quran, it's referring to the created speech, well, that created speech is an exact mirror image of the uncreated. But the Quran says, the Quran says that there is nothing in creation that is like unto him. And when it says that, it means his attributes as well as his essence. They're always going to be So now address the point. going to raise up and fight against so you and Jews you're, as well. And Jews? I feel like uh, the British Empire should have used the same thing. Oh, yeah, they were rebels. Like, Let's Canada, just say God is in Australia. Let's just use God. Let's just use God. The British Empire did. 
I'll repeat to you my argument again. Right? What I said was, the Quran says Allah is not like anything in his creation. Right? If Allah is not like anything in his creation, right, that also includes all of his attributes. If you're saying that your recitation of the Quran intercedes for you on the day of judgment, of the and it is the action that is, that is speaking for you, then that means your recitation of the Quran is a mirror image of Allah's speech. In other words, you your created That's speech a is a is a mirror image of Allah's divine speech. Right. What's, I don't understand what's wrong with that. You're superimposing. Is fact, Allah like anything in His creation? You're superimposing. And so the, I'm going to explain to you why it's wrong. No, no. What is Allah like anything in His but, creation? But here's, here's the thing you gotta understand. You're you're superimposing the fact that if I repeat God's words, whatever I'm saying is divine. No, I didn't therefore, say that. Therefore, no, I said I actually said it was created. Therefore, because I did God not say that. Is nothing like His creation. I did not say the that. The fact that the recitation is divine, therefore, it I, contradicts I did not the fact say that. that God is nothing I like. I did not isn't say that. Point? No, you see, again, you haven't listened. So I'll repeat my point I again. Did listen, and I think so try to listen. To, so try to listen to my point. So the Quran says that Allah is not like anything that He has created. So he's not like anything that he's created. But you're saying that your recitation of the Quran is created. Right. And it is that action that will intercede for you on the day of judgment. Right. But that recitation, for it to be a recitation of the Quran, of Allah's speech, means that it must be a mirror image of his speech. Right. Going back to our living example, if I say your jumper is green and you repeat your jumper is green, you have spoke. I have spoke, my speech is an attribute of me, your speech is an attribute of you, but the words, your jumper is green, are exactly the same. Correct. Correct, thank you. So that means that Allah's speech is like something that Allah created. Okay. So you're, what you're, what you're implying yes, okay. is that yes, okay. when, when someone it repeats the words of God, right? It's something similar to, or is the same as the attribute. It of God. is a mirror That's image of saying. Allah's words. So, so you're saying because God is nothing like what's created. Well, Allah says that, not me. You can't have that. Uh, you can't have someone be able to uh, say things that are the attributes of God. Is what you're implying. So, are you saying that Allah was wrong when he said that he's not like no, anything no, in his creation? I'm trying, I'm trying to understand what you're trying to say. As I think I, most people who are watching that, this are going to understand. So my point to you is, I'll state it again, is that Allah says in his Quran, he is not like anything that he has created. Right. That includes his attributes, right? But if the recitation of Quran is created, and it's that recitation that speaks for you on the day of judgment, and the recitation for it to be called Quran, it must reflect the words of Allah. So okay, where I Allah understand. says Bismillah illa rahman illa rahim and you say Bismillah illa rahman illa rahim and forgive my Arabic, I'm not an Arabic speaker. I understand, I understand. So Your attribute of speech reflects in mirror image Allah's attribute of speech. Do you know because the words Bismillah illa rahman illa rahim have been spoken by you which are created and Allah which are uncreated. Alright, so listen up Bob, you gotta stay with me here. Go on. The equivalent of what you're saying is that the fact that mercy, for example, is an attribute of God and that we're merciful to each other, that, that is similar to an attribute of God. Therefore, there is something in creation that is similar to Him and contradicts the fact that there is nothing like Him. So, that's, that's the equivalent of what you're saying. Is that true? Uh, the, I mean, it is a problem for Islam, yes. You see? It is a problem so, for Islam. So, now you got to understand is that the mercy of God is different to our mercy. It's not like you, you, when you take the attributes such as this, the speech of God, simply repeating or doing that thing doesn't mean that you're like God. That doesn't make any sense. So, so you, haven't, you haven't actually addressed my point. The, the whole mercy thing does create another problem. And, and it creates exactly the same problem. 
Because if you're saying that Allah is not like anything in his creation, right? But Allah has mercy and you have mercy, then you have no point of reference to identify what mercy is to Allah. Right. Because Allah is not like anything so, in his creation. So his mercy but is... the problem with the speech thing, <coughs> and here's the problem with the speech thing that you, you, you I know you've recognized it because I saw you recognize it, is that if I say your jumper is green and you say your jumper is green, we have two attributes of speech, each belonging to two different beings. But the words, your jumper is green, are identical. So if Allah gives speech that you then recite and your recitation is created, but Allah's speech is uncreated, then the words, because they are identical, are mirror images of one another. And that means that Allah's attribute of speech is identical to your speech. And that means that Allah is like something in his creation, which contradicts the Quran. So, so don't, the, the don't, is, don't the refute is. the argument. <laughs> Don't, don't flabbergast, don't equivocate, don't use you're, a different example, a, deal having, with my argument. You're having a hard time understanding the really fact not. that when, when, when we repeat the words of God, yes. it's not, we're not creating something that is similar or is the same as God. What, what you have to do is you have you're to You're not create creating anything, Allah's when creating Quran, it. When for example, gives a challenge to bring a verse like it, just because you repeat the Quran as it is, it doesn't mean you've brought a verse like it. That's what I didn't say that. I, so no, no, I didn't you, say that. You have to create something that's similar to him in I order didn't to say contradict that. the point that nope. God is nothing like his creation. So I didn't actually and, say that. And you got to understand in Islam, I didn't we, say there's that. a difference of opinion that your recitation of the Quran, when it comes out as is the production of, of speech of God, yep. that could be uncreated. And in that sense, your whole argument falls. No, it doesn't. But, but, but even if we don't say that, your argument still falls because of the fact that we're simply repeating the, the words of God. We're not creating something of our own will. That so, is so let, to let God. me let me reply that to that. Sense? Let me reply Does to that. that. Let me reply to that. The first thing, the first thing, I need to teach you your own deen. No, because you yes, you do. You, you no, 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 no. Because you, you said, you said, that, you said we create speech. You, you said we create speech. Islamic Akida is that Allah creates your speech. You don't create anything. That's, you that's don't Allah. create anything. No, no. Allah creates every moment of time. He creates every action. Right, so I, Allah creates action. your speech. No, I'm going to finish my point. <laughs> the argument that I've made, the argument that you are not addressing, and the fact that I keep having to repeat it shows that you're not addressing it, is that because I'm not saying that, that your, your speech is of similar eloquence, to Allah's speech because that is what the point of the Quran that you referenced in your reply and I never made any mention of that whatsoever what I said was because remember it's about the Quran's intercession on the day of judgment you said that the Quran's intercession on the day of judgment is not actually the Quran it's the action of reciting the Quran and I said fine let's work with that if the action of the Quran is what intercedes for you then that means Allah has created something that is identical to Allah's own speech. If I say, okay, let me have, finish, let me finish. No, you that don't is, get to interrupt. You don't get to interrupt. If I say that your jumper is green and you say your jumper is green, even though my attribute of speech is mine <coughs> and your attribute of speech is yours, the words, your jumper is green, are identical. And if Allah creates words that are identical to his words, then he has created something identical to something uncreated. And as it is identical to something uncreated, it breaks the Islamic concept. It contradicts what the Quran says when it says Allah is not like anything he has created because he creates your speech. And if he creates your speech and your speech is identical to his words, then he has created something identical to his eternal speech. So, as Do I you follow that it, logic? Yeah, just listen up. As I understand it, you're saying my recitation of the Quran is created, is created, yes. And so God has created some something similar to his uncreated attribute of the Quran. What I'm saying is, is the saying. there are words in the Quran and there are words that Allah creates when you recite the Quran. Yeah. Right? The words of the Quran, the Kalam al Allah, is uncreated. Okay. Your recitation is created. So Allah is creating things in creation that are one to one symmetry with his uncreated speech. 
and I'll prove it to you again. If just repeat my words, your jumper is okay, green. We, we've gone through that three times. I've already so address you know, the analogy. Honest, I've already I've already addressed your uh, address the analogy. You keep it. So address you, the analogy. What, uh, about the can you address the analogy? If I say your jumper is green, and you say your jumper is green, my speech is an attribute of me. Your speech is an attribute of you, but the words your jumper is green are identical words. But when I say my jump, uh, your jumper is green, it's yes. not an attribute of you. Agreed. And that breaks the and that breaks the radical transcendence that the Quran asserts. The Quran asserts a radical transcendence. It says Allah is not like anything He has created. That includes all of his attributes, including his speech. And yet he creates your recitation, which has a one-to-one -one symmetry, a mirror image, a perfect replication of the words of Allah. Yeah. Your silence is appropriate. No, my silence is because of the fact I've, I've addressed this multiple times and you keep repeating Okay, so let's so advance we, the argument are we gonna, then. Are we going to continue? So let, 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 let's advance, the, let, let's return. I've already given you two points concerning this and you keep repeating it. So Bob, I don't... But, I but don't your know. points never addressed what I said, I what they did. Them. You just, so try you a third time saying, to address what I've said because just, so far I've saying, not heard a reply. I, I did reply. I, reply I didn't hear a reply. Why? Because remember, when you were giving your reply, I said that is not what I said. That is not what I said. From the so you subtly from changed from what the, I said and the, replied to a straw man. The issue is the, you change the what I said and you replied to a straw man. Every time you make a point, I make a response, and you seem to imply that I'm not that. Not every that time. Leaving, not every time. Not is, every time. When so you I engage find, with what that, I'm saying, I, I reply to your engagement. But so far, in your two attempts to reply to this argument, you changed what I said no, and then replied to no, what no, you I changed change about what. So try a third time. Last time. Try a try again. Like I. So if I if I give if I reply to your point, you need to take it as is and not repeat your argument again. Go on, unless, go on. Unless, unless let, let me let me hear your reply a third point. Unless you hear unless you have a counter. Let let me hear your so, your, your, so your third this, attempt. So for so for this point, I don't wish to keep uh, uh, repeating. My okay, point. so people can I think people can go back. People can yeah people recorded. can watch this and decide for themselves. So let let's advance the argument a bit further. 